there may be trouble ahead. Hello and welcome to my channel. You join me up here on Mars de Moor. Very windy up here and I'm getting some miles in for my Coast to Coast. Training for the Coast to Coast which I'm doing in September 2020. Now the driving force for my channel is outdoors and keeping myself fit and taking you on a little journey with me each time I go for a walk. So that's what this channel's about and I do appreciate all your comments and the subscriptions. Um, I'm heading towards 400 subscribers. I could have never believed I would get to 400 subscribers. I've been doing this for about a year now and uh, it's really good. I'm really enjoying it. So uh, thank you to all my subscribers and for staying with me. So we are looking at the GoPro Hero 8 today. We're looking at that again. I've already done a vlog using my new, brand new GoPro Hero 8. Just negotiate some water here. Yes, I've already done a vlog with my brand new GoPro Hero 8 and uh, I realised that it caught the wind, the internal microphones caught the wind. But I want to use the internal microphones, I don't want to use external uh, mics, even though they give superior audio, I want a really compact system and that's why I chose the GoPro Hero 8. I've had the 5, 6 and 7. The 7 gave me the worst problems. You can look back on my vlogs if you don't already know. I had terrible problems with that, but the Hero 8 promises to fix all them problems, including the audio. The onboard audio is supposed to be amazing, and that's what you're listening to right now. It, it is windy up here, and I'm going to tell you what I've done to the Hero 8 to try and combat that. I uh, don't know whether it's actually doing it, but that's what we're going to talk about today. So just to let you know how exposed we are up here, very windy. Look at the uh, grass there the grass blowing in the wind. Uh, it's very windy up here. Uh, so it's going to be very interesting to me and hopefully for you to see how the GoPro Hero 8 is, is dealing with the wind with the internal microphones. It's only about four degrees up here as well. I'm sure it looks a lot better on the oversaturated picture of the GoPro Hero 8, but that's another issue. The reason I have brought you up here onto this very exposed and remote area, Mars de Moor, is because I get guaranteed wind. The wind is very, very strong up here. And what I've done to the uh, GoPro Hero 8 is I've put the wind slayer around it, which is a foam covering, and I'll show you some pictures, uh, a foam covering for the GoPro Hero 7 actually, but it does fit around the GoPro Hero 8 quite comfortably and should achieve the same results. Now, I did do a vlog right right here on a very, very windy day. It was really extreme. And I did that with the GoPro Hero 7 with the wind slayer around it using the GoPro Hero 7 internal microphones. And um, the results were actually pretty good. Uh, very extreme situation. I'll put a link to that vlog in the uh, comments section below. And you can have a look at, uh, at that vlog and see the results with the GoPro Hero 7 internal microphones. And I think you'll agree that uh, it's quite impressive. So we are using just a foam covering around the GoPro Hero 8 right now. This is the internal microphone. Whoa. Underneath the um, wind slayer, I have covered all the microphones except for the forward facing microphone. So that should cut down on the wind as well. And uh, the settings for the microphone are stereo. So that's what we've turned the wind, the wind cancellation off and the GoPro Auto. That's all turned off and we're on stereo microphone. That's the setting. I insist on using the internal microphones with this camera. I did, I've done a couple of tests with the Rode Video Micro and I've got the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus. All fantastic microphones giving superior results and I've also got the Rode Wireless Go excellent system and that works really well with this um, but the reason I bought the GoPro Hero 8 was looking forward to the media module and it professes better audio straight out of the box with the forward-facing microphone and it actually does do that the problem is we're waiting for the uh, media module and in the meantime, 
do you know i've just thought i don't want to get used to using the rode video micro or any of my other fantastic microphones all rode microphones you might notice uh, they do make excellent microphones and if you want superior audio in certain situations uh, that's what you would use but for me i need it to be compact when i'm doing my coast to coast and going out walking like this i need lots more room in my bag for sandwiches and a tent uh, extra clothing and other vital things and um, that's why i have chosen the gopro hero 8 and taken the plunge um, a company that has let me down the, the uh, gopro company have let me down with the 5 6 and especially the 7 nothing but problems as i've said nothing but problems why i think i'm going to get anything good out of the eight i don't know but so far this camera hasn't let me down it records just the fact that it doesn't freeze and lock up and you've got to take the battery in and out and all that carry on just the fact that it, it doesn't do that is absolutely wonderful for me but uh, it shouldn't be that way it shouldn't be that way so um very windy now very windy this is this is going to be a really interesting test uh, for the audio if this works it'd be absolutely amazing because i've just i'm going to show you some pictures of it obviously uh, so you can have a little look around what i've done and if this is performing really well in this wind this is extreme situation because i'm putting the camera out in the wind this isn't how you would um it's very rocky very rocky around here so i do have to watch where i'm walking this isn't what you would actually do if i was taking you on a normal uh, vlog on a normal walk and not testing to the extreme um, i would be hiding behind some rock somewhere and it wouldn't be as exposed as this but we must take things to the extreme to make the point youtubers that do take things to the extreme and test i really appreciate that and uh, such as uh, david harry you've heard me mention him before you must check him out he knows his stuff on audio and video and he does test things to the extreme you have to test to the extreme and that saves me having to do it i can trust that it's been tested to its extreme so i thought i would um return the favor and test to the extreme the wind slayer on the gopro hero 8 that's what we're doing today so you wouldn't normally stand out in wind and expect anything good so if it works in this extreme environment you can pretty much say that when you're down in the normal villages and towns vlogging with a little bit of breeze you're going to be fine so how's it doing how are the internal microphones of the gopro hero 8 black doing in this extreme weather you can hear it i'm gonna to have to wait till i get back home hope it's doing well now it's just going to be a short vlog i'm not going to talk about much more so it was just to have really just a chat uh, so that we can hear what can be done with the wind slayer a foam covering around there's a picture of it again um a foam covering around the gopro and uh, just see what can be achieved until the media module comes along so i'm going to walk just a little bit further over to there's a trick point that's probably better that way the dynamic range isn't excellent on this camera uh, the settings that i've got the iso on right now are uh, the minimum is 100 and the maximum is 800 so i'm trying that the bit rate is on high and uh, the color profile is gopro which yes it is oversaturated hopefully these little things will be tweaked in firmware updates now talking about firmware updates uh, i have become aware of issues with the gopro hero 8 already i haven't had any and there are a few vlogs out there people are having big problems with the gopro hero 8 and that is not making me feel confident at all i can only go with my own experience and my experience so far is positive i haven't had any issues and one of the other reasons for getting out today is to do some recording with this and uh, try and try and believe that it's going to work that i've actually got a good unit that, that is actually going to work uh, but uh, it's not looking good um, I will say again, David Harry, I'm going to leave a link to a couple of his vlogs. He's having a nightmare with his GoPro 
and uh, Scott the truck driver. Excellent uh, vlogger, Scott the truck driver, excellent channel, loving his stuff and uh, he's had some problems. Also, uh, thanks for the tip not to buy the GoPro Hero 8, Scott, but I'd already bought it. I've had it about two weeks now, but I will only tell my experience and I think that's very important that everyone just tells their own experience. Uh, having had the issues with the seven and I still own two of them, uh, I do sympathize and I just hope that this, this has got to work for me. What, what are my other options? I need a waterproof camera, a rugged camera. Uh, it needs reasonable audio, it needs to be very small. Uh, what are the other options? I agree with Scott, um, someone, maybe DJI, are gonna step in and, and steal the show here, and I hope they do, because uh, the slightest glitch with this GoPro Hero 8, and I am sending it back, and I will be sending back my Hero 7s of the strength of that as well, and expecting refunds for the, the whole lot. I must have had about um, seven or eight Hero 7s, and they all performed the same, absolutely rubbish, locking up freezing. And that's what uh, David Harry is experiencing, locking up freezing, just the Hero 7 all over again. So, um, and uh, Scott, the truck driver, is also experiencing similar problems. Uh, there, there's another, uh, there's another upload. Someone's got these blue dots, blue dots all over the screen. Uh, this issues are cropping up. Um, as I am recording now, I'm thinking to myself, is it actually recording? By the time I get back, is it going to have corrupted the card? Am I going to get this footage? Is it glitching? All sorts of things going wrong. But my experience so far is positive and everything seems to be working fine. And hopefully these other issues will be fixed in a firmware update. When I, when I purchased this camera, I didn't realize that I was actually testing it for them. And so far my tests, my, uh, my results would be that it's working, but that's not for everybody. Uh, so are we just testing these cameras for these guys? Uh, it's, just, it's just wrong. So I am aware of the issues that are cropping up with the GoPro Hero 8 already. And the media module has, isn't even up for sale yet. No one's going to buy it. Why would you buy something for a camera that doesn't even work? So it's, it's looking bad. And uh, am I confident about this camera really? I'm only confident in the fact that it hasn't let me down yet, but uh, I think it's going to. There's no reason why it wouldn't. So I've just arrived at the, uh, at the trig point that I was aiming at. So this is, this is as far as I'm going to walk today. I'm gonna to make my way back and we'll have a chat on the way back. The foam covering around the GoPro Hero 8. That's what we're testing today. What do we think of it? I'm gonna go back now and have a listen to it. I'm gonna let you know what I think about it at the end of this vlog. And the end of this vlog is just about now. And you've got to think realistically about what you expect of audio in these kinds of environments and when you're vlogging. Uh, I've got to, myself, I've got to stop obsessing over perfect audio when you can't achieve that when you when you're out in situations like this I just need really good quality audio and I think we might be able to get that actually from the GoPro Hero 8 with the forward-facing microphone I think that's achievable and the media module will be interesting as well that's if we get that far um, I've got a feeling that uh, we're not gonna get that far I've got a feeling that the GoPro Hero 8 is starting to fail and, uh, and we're not gonna get to the media module. Uh, so that's a real worry. That's a real worry for me, that, that's a real worry. Um, so far, so good for me, fingers crossed it will continue. So I hope you have enjoyed this vlog. Just touching base with you, as always, taking you for a little walk around West Yorkshire, testing out the internal microphones on the GoPro Hero 8 with a foam wind slayer around it. Very cheap solution, I hope it works. And uh, I really appreciate you being with me on this walk or I would be all by myself. I put up a vlog every week, so consider subscribing. I'm approaching 400 subscribers. Can't believe it. So, until the next one. Bye. There may be trouble ahead.
But while it's working, not freezing or overheating, let's give it a chance. Let's face the music and dance.